Okay, just um, start a new um, project. Um, name it whatever you want, really. Yeah, anything. Um, well, I'll just say uh, multi cam. Um, and it's pretty much, you know, you put your settings, um, whatever the settings is. And you go up to, uh, I mean, yeah, go to new band. Uh, pretty much always, I always put a, a band that's a video, a name of video. And then you do a double click to find your, um, your video files. I'll just select three or four of them. Okay. It's loading now. Okay, we got it. Um, here we go. Okay. Oh, it looks like one of them is pretty small, so we're not going to use that one. Let's grab these three. Okay. Um, what you want to do is, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click up and go to marker. You're going to go to clip marker, set. Oh, I mean, uh, numbered. Sorry about that. You want to go marker, clip marker, set other number. You want to put it on the zero. All in the same one, you know, pretty much. You want to put it all to zero. Okay. Now, let's get, um, after you get them all selected, you want to go to the synchronize. So, you pretty much you highlight them all and then go to synchronize and you go to number, clip, you put zero. Um, pretty much make sure you have them. So yeah, we got them synchronized. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, create another sequence, and you right click just like you did a bin, and you're gonna go new item sequence, and this one it's gonna have to be the same one. And then you go to where the video files are, video go to uh, tracks and put one as video, one video track, one stereo track, and then you can name it uh, like you know I say multi cam. And just, you know, you can name it whatever you want to, but, you know, multi-cam, you know, we're, we're doing multi-cam, so, it's, you know, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, okay. Multi-cam, as you can see, you, you're only um, seeing one of the footages, so what you do is you right-click and go to multi-cam, and then, um, now, pretty much, you go to window, then you go all the way down to multi-cam monitor, and now you see all your, your um, multi-cams right here. You have your three cams and you have the main feed. This main feed is just like your, your main monitor. And as you can see, they're all playing as you as you scrub through the timeline, they're all gonna start playing. So pretty much what you do is when you select one, <clears throat> it's gonna go. And then see there's a record button and then you play. To play it, and then you record. So you wanna push play first and then push record. Um, and then pretty much when you select one, when you select one, it's gonna take over. So you know, so it's just gonna take over. Um, I suggest you like, you know, let it uh, pretty much scrub through the track to the timeline so you can see like how when stuff's gonna um, fall off, so you know how much footage you have. Um, but you know, you, what you would be doing is you would be syncing up the audio also. Um, you know, like a clap or something. This is you know, I just I just grabbed three uh, clips so they're not on sync with each other. So. You know, um, pretty much you, you just let it play and you click you click um, the video track that you want and it's automatically making a cut for you. It's automatically making a cut for you. That's very cool. And then when you're done, you get this. You know, you play it. You know, you get your first. <clears throat> Yeah, this is this is a simple. This is an artist I did a video for, and I'm showing you how it goes. Very simple. As soon as you click one of the, uh, the other footage, it, it automatically made a cut for you. And the cuts is so smooth too that it's like it's amazing actually. It's really amazing how smooth it is. Yeah, that's it, you guys. Uh, comment on the video. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you, guys.